on this episode of the Hunt Challenge Master, we will be doing some research gathering, killing a couple of animals, and, and doing some extra uh, upgrades to the base and fighting the horde. Hope you all enjoy, guys. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Challenge Master. It is day seven, so it is Horde Day. This episode is going to be, of course, taking on the Horde, but got some resource collecting to do. I'm going to finish up some upgrades on the base I would like to have done. And the challenge for today is to hunt down two animals, and the reward is a hunting rifle receiver, and the penalty for failure is. And no armor next episode. And with all that being said, I'm gonna uh, start collecting some wood and yeah, hopefully see some animals uh, while I'm gathering some stone. I will time lapse the resource gathering for you to not bore you too much. With all that being said, let's get into it. I've been doing some resource gathering for a couple hours now, and good morning, Marlo. Cow. <laughs> I figured I'd take a quick little break just to see what's out here on this road. You know, looks like it splits off. Maybe the okay, the road that goes right is or explored you. Know, went to and grab the treasure map a couple episodes ago. So, there is a road that goes off to the left. I don't know what lies out there. I've also been collecting along with wood and stone, uh, yucca fruits. Yucca fruits are pretty good for making yucca juice. All you need is just four yucca fruit and, and a glass jar. You don't even need a a bottle of water not to not do anything with it. It is a, a very nice little uh, early on resource you can do and you can literally just uh, make infinite of it and as long as you have uh, some yucca fruit growing on a uh, some farm plots, you know, well, to land but literally all you do is you just go and chop down the cactuses so with like a stone axe or as I'm doing here with a fire axe. People talk about uh, red tea being and goldenrod tea being really good for your wellness and 
looks like they are pretty good, and but they do require you to get a boil of water and a campfire. Let's just craft one up real quick for the look at juice. It does. Uh, it gives you 0.1 wellness uh, base, and then you know whatever gives you your your survivor points. You know, so basically about 40% at rank 3, so basically about 1.5 wellness, but kind of one of those if you don't have much water and to spare, like you don't have a spare water source, like the the wealthy house over here, or a nearby lake, then and you're in the plains biome, or the a cactus, uh, you know, desert biome, not the cactus biome. Or in Psycho Steve. It's just one of those, it's like you can make yourself a nice little drink to keep you going. And I think it also gives you a cool drink just like red tea does. But later on you do want to drink uh, Red tea, you know, if you're just focused on uh, wellness gains, it's... Oop, we got a deer here. Let's see if we can pop him real quick. There we go. One, two animals uh, needed for the challenge. And just harvest him real quick. What am I dropping? Uh, animal fat. Not a big deal. Um, or anything I could drop. I did grab my rocket launcher parts in the last episode. I did confirm for myself. Oh, more curly. How you doing? Oh, the lovely cactus. Oh, I would ride a mini bike. Uh, in this biome and just give it like I just hurt myself so much on the on the cacti. And there you go, see it curly. Thank you for the water. As I was saying though, uh make some leather. I do want to start thinking about getting uh, bones uh, for Think about doing that for. I just uh, start making glue. Is there any other animals hanging out around here? Yes, there is. Come here, piggy. I'm not gonna use the hunting rifle on him, even though I got plenty of ammo for it. Come here. There you go. That is mission complete early on. Could be kind of a difficult challenge depending on. Uh, what biome you're in, or you're just hanging out in town a lot, you know, depending on what you're doing, but that is nice. We can grab our hunting rifle receiver at the end of the episode. That's what I tend to do with these challenges, and it's like I like to just grab them at the end off camera, and you know, if I remember to, I like to let you guys know. There's a deer. Oh, we got Penny crawling along with a Got and take it out by the one of the local cacti. Come here, sweet. There you go. Let's see if you got anything on you. Nope. See if we can get this deer real quick, just for the extra meat. It's like the longer I can get more, uh, you know, the more meat I can get, the better off I am in the long haul. Damn, this guy runs. Got Marlo over here. Just finish him off with a hunting rifle. Morning, Marlo. Good to see you. There you 
go. Just drink our yucca juice. Yucca juice is actually pretty good for stamina if you don't have uh, access to the <laughs> to the tea. Just carve you up real quick. The animal fat's really not a big deal to me. I think all it really is used for is biofuel and uh, and candles and uh, torches. Like uh, if you burn the fat down a uh, campfire, it becomes tallow, which is used for making uh, the candles. Not really too focused on light at the moment. Modern Charlie. But anyways, I gotta do some more clay collecting because I do have a couple of cobblestone blocks to uh, upgrade uh, cobblestone frames. And uh, I'm gonna time lapse that for you guys, and I will be back at the base shortly. And I've just done some mining uh, for clay, and one thing I've actually noticed is uh, down the pit, I was one shotting some blocks, I'm two shotting uh, clay blocks, but I was getting some sand and some extra iron out of it, along with some stones. So I think in this clay pit, let's just see here. Yeah, there's. I think there's an iron vein, so that'll be really nice for when I start needing more iron to dig up, but it's like I want to keep the sand for, because I am coming up on Mine Tools level 20, only like a, about a little bit more than a couple levels off, but once I do that, I can start getting into concrete mix, and and uh, the thing is, I need to get a cement mixer. Uh, so, if you remember from last episode, I did mention that when we took our little road trip, we took a uh, I came across a passing gas, and I'm pretty sure that has a workbench in it. So that'll probably be something to do after Fortnite, but. All the cobblestone rocks are crafting up. I figured I'd do something a little bit uh, more fun, uh, you know, while we're waiting for the horde and raid this cop shop that's been here. Figured you at least uh, give me something to do other than just upgrade for the horde, because I'm pretty sure the base will hold out in its current state. Yeah, see you later, Mikey. I got another Mikey, a Charlie, and a Marla. That could be a joke. Got Charlie. And our airdrop is coming in for D7. It is just outside of town. We might even go get that, depending on how much time I got. Because I, you know, I do have my nail gun on me and I can upgrade pretty fast, so. Come on, Mikey. I, yeah, I know you don't want to do some stuff, but now is not the time to be walking on the sandbags. Take your licking. There you go. Gonna okay, make a quick little drop chest here, just for... Oh, there we go. Just cancel out the cobblestone rocks and start it up again. And... Just swap that out real quick. Drop the chest uh, in. Uh, 
We'll see what we got in the police station. Should be some interesting loot. I'm gonna need that because I'm pretty sure there's a gun safe. I'm not gonna be fully looting it for the jail cells and everything, but we'll loot most of it. Considering out of time constraints. Pistol parts, mechanical part. Dead Charlie there can got me some ammo. Some very nice. Always appreciated. Uh, scrap you down for iron. I just scrapped that stuff and Merle didn't have anything. Break through here. Should only just take a second. There we go. Alright. Last trophy, you can use that for later on. Can wrench these uh, all for resources. Break through here. Desk, you got some cowboy boots. Oh, I'm wearing leather boots. Only just a little bit worse than my current stuff. Paper for ammo. Trash, what you got? Oil and some dukes. Take what I can get. Store and only one level off from concrete mixing. Take those glass jars, always useful. Man, plenty of glass jars in the old kitchen. Come here. These cobbles and rocks were a good way to Ooh, nice quality and black cowboy boots. Actually better than my little leather boots, which are just low quality, but for the after protection. Come up about the jail cells here. Not much. Toilets could have guns. There's a couple Charlies, but I'm not really worried about them right now. That's done. Random toilet here. Have a poop. And yep, not too much. Our bathroom here. Cooking pots could just melt those down for iron. For say bench. More poop. Uh head upstairs real quick. See if we can find anything good out of the munitions box. Pretty reinforced here. All right, is there anything in the bookcase? Whether it's schematic, just a point leather working. Just give it a second here to pop open the munitions box. It's a 9mm. Nothing too incredible. i just break through here real quick and I think we'll call it good for this POI and for the time being. Flashlight and some painkillers. Um, we'll just leave that there. 
at the very least, I'm going to just uh, mark the airdrop with an X just to make sure I save it. There we go. I just gotta sort out my situation with uh, the loot chest. That can be left there, that can be left there. A lot of stuff can be left in here. We'll just call that good for the time being and go for our now it's time to start focusing heavily on base upgrades. Now what I'm thinking of doing is uh, just with this... Uh, I'm gonna have what I have currently built up the... be the... Uh, what am I trying to say here? This is gonna be like the fighting platform and until I get enough uh, resources for iron bars I think I'm going to just use cobblestone frames because yeah, I can shoot through them hey, yeah I'm just gonna put my stuff away and uh, get to time-lapsing the, the upgrades for you guys and I'll catch up with you guys uh, well, once I'm up to horde time All right, everyone. We are coming up on four hundred twenty minutes out. We got a little visitor looking to sweat. How we doing, buddy? Good to see you. Let's see what you got, real quick. But that'll do. Challenge. I think that's. Yep. That was, that was for pigs. Would have been nice for earlier, but oh well. No big deal. As you can see, I've done, gotten the majority of my upgrades done. Did have to scramble for a stone axe because my iron fire axe broke. But hey, let's uh, get loaded real quick and 
for this horde. Bows loaded. Shotguns loaded. Hunting rifles loaded. Here comes the horde. I have all these cobblestone frames to place down and oh, Psycho Steve's coming. Make sure I have the flashlight on for you guys. But it's just so I can shoot through them and these will be phased out with iron bars later on. Um We got old uh got a bunch of seeds. Ooh, nice headshot. I was just cheesing them a little bit. It's... I better be careful. I think I put made it to where they're uh, they would have to jump, but they can't do that. Oop, got one stuck. There you go. Psycho seat down. No, oh, that's my old bow. Apologies for the flashlight turning off. Come on. Hitboxes can be a little bit, a little bit weird. Switch back to the old hunting rifle because I got flashlight. Got one curly, I think, took his arm off. Maybe, no, I think that was just blood splatter. Hey, you. Get off of the sports. <sighs> Keep my shots. You're dead. How does this horde? I'm gonna be jacking up the <laughs> difficulty level by two because I did forget to <laughs> put up the uh, difficulty at first when I said uh, I thought it was a little too easy, but so I will do that uh, after this horde. Make sure I'll put the difficulty levels up for provide more of a challenge and hopefully be more entertaining for you guys. Oops, sounds like we got our first girl of the night. Who is it? It's Nancy. Yeah. And these guys are scared. Shot on Nancy and come on, you guys. One curly down. Got Mikey and Nancy hand hanging out. All well, these rifles are going up. We got a sweat. I wish these guys would spawn in on Horde Knight because they're so slow. <laughs> Try a little more over here, that way we can save the bodies for overnight. There you go, huh, sweat. We're up to level 30. Well, I'll upgrade, I did get the uh, mining tool level and for the uh, concrete mixing, so all I have to do is get a workbench and I should be able to do that, which I actually got the, I got the, uh, what am I trying to say? Start with the tool level where if I really felt like it, I could just make myself a workbench, which I might actually do that, just have two workbenches. And... Got Annie hanging out. Oh, 
Oh, nice little head explosion on uh, Nancy there. And you're still there, seriously? What is the deal with these blocks? Really prefer if you don't beat on my. Got about stuck from his little hangout. Make sure I don't get knocked off this. Um... This will be a bit of a longer episode. I do apologize. You know. Hopefully the horde makes up for, uh, you know, the, the building, just something got it. Not the shotgun, anything but the shotgun. Just gonna use up the stone arrows and something iron, got plenty of those. Zombies. You guys are so hard to hit. Uh, Got one Mikey down. And another one's gone. Uh, Got their sweat hanging out. Come here, you. And he's hit. Oh, we got Chris. Crispy. How are you doing, buddy? Good to see you. <laughs> Hanging out here. That the crawler dead? I think so. Switch back over to the hunting rifle for a second and give you guys some more light. We are coming up on 1 o'clock, so that's nice. Um, that one dude's still. No, oh, it's just Mikey. There we go, I think. Yep, got him. Where are you guys? Hit Chris. You're down. See you later. Marla, she should go down. There you go. There's sweat coming through. My aim is not that great on this game. Um, decent amount of thing you can turn out. Kinda wish I put some spikes down, but living and learning. Got the any stun.
took her arm off. Took out Chris. Um, oh, head explosion on <laughs> Annie there. Can't wait to turn sweat. Got him in the butt. He's down. Get somebody. Nancy's gone. Marla's being sat down as we speak. There you go. We got Bob hanging out. Good to see you. There you go. Level 29, we got 35 skill points to spend. So yeah, we're definitely going to be investing into uh, concrete mix after this horde. Alright, Chris is down. The one body went to waste. I heard it splash because he died on top of another zombie body. Come here, guys. It's past two o'clock now, so things are looking pretty good. I think what I might do is uh, make it a little bit more exciting. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? We'll do it. Marla, Charlie, oops, Psycho Steve came in. There you go. See if there's any more run towards me. It might be I'm almost done with the Horde Knight because usually, well, the first Horde, uh, doesn't last the whole night. Well, actually. Ow. I spoke too soon. Ow. Oh crap, I'm on four health. jump up here and I am infected but oh that was all exciting uh, had a brush with death oh, hi Mikey there you go I forgot my healing supplies well great well we got some of the party guests hanging out over there Psycho so Steve decided to join me Come on, guys. <laughs> Come on over. Fire some rounds at them. Hey, okay, guys. Uh, only one hour till the port's over. Come here. Get belly flopping on. There we go. Bob is coming over. Maybe Curly will come on <laughs> over and have a talk with me.
There you go, nice that you finally joined me. Last of the horde for the time being. Wondering why the little slip. Oh, Bob's down. Got the stack of Steve. Only about 20 minutes left in the horde night. Should be looking fine. So unpredictable, you guys. Come here, Curly. Get your butt over here. And it is morning time. Wait for a second, get these guys up there. Just finish you guys off, and there you go, level up. Watch the, watch old Psycho Steve here. There we go, I think there's just a sweat or maybe a ace I could see that blew his leg off. Oh, I see, Missile Horde was stuck in a second here. There we go, Psycho Steve. Nancy, good to see you. Go. Finally broke the railing. Can't believe it took you guys all night. All right, and Horde survived just barely. So yeah, I think that's gonna have in this episode. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I thank you all for watching. Have a great day, everybody.